where millions of Muslims around the world fast, not only... A protest getting heated Tuesday evening at the home of the dean of UC Berkeley's law school. Okay, you don't have to get Excuse aggressive. I'm not Please leave our house. house. You are guests at our house. Erwin Chemerinsky and his wife, law professor Catherine Fisk, hosting their annual dinner for students. As Muslim students, we refuse to break our fast on the blood of Palestinian people. I the UC don't. has committed sending $2 billion to weapons manufacturers. To do with what I know, the UC and we're does. just giving Fisk seen trying to take the microphone from the student, who is also the president of a group called Berkeley Law Students for Justice in Palestine. You are not welcome. Okay, you can call the police. No, I don't. You can call the to. police. I'm getting. Please stop touching her. In a statement, the student group saying this is a First Amendment right, accusing Fisk of assault. Fisk's assault was a symbol of the deeper Islamophobia, anti-Palestinian racism, and religious discrimination that runs rampant within the University of California administration. UC Berkeley's chancellor responding to the incident in a statement saying in part, while our support for free speech is unwavering, we cannot condone using a social occasion at a person's private residence as a platform for protest. The dean in a statement Wednesday also responding, saying in part, I am enormously sad that we have students who are so rude as to come into my home, in my backyard, and use this social occasion for their political agenda. He goes on to say they asked the student to leave several times as seen here. Wow. Just please leave. If you don't want to be here, leave my house. Students do not have a First Amendment right to come to someone else's home, transform their dinner party into a political event. Nico Perino is a VP at the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. There is this misperception that a lot of students have across the country right now that taking over someone else's event, disrupting their event, is an exercise of First Amendment rights. And that's just wrong. You don't have the right to come to someone else's event and take it over. Now, in his statement today, the law school dean also said he had recently been subject of anti-Semitic flyers posted in campus buildings and that security would be present for the last two dinners.